Hi friends, you are welcome. This is Surf Reason. In this presentation, we will be considering the use of auto river to create a column section and as well as by bending schedule just like this. So straight away, let us go into the lesson. I will open this training one tab. Alright, so we will be using the combination of AutoCAD 2 and the auto river 2. And so before we proceed, you will ensure that your AutoCAD bound is set to millimeter or to meter. And as well, you have to configure the auto river as well. So you click right away. So in this provision of auto river options, you will come to units. And you ensure that this unit is in line with your AutoCAD unit. So that there will be no discrepancy in dimensioning. Alright, so my AutoCAD is in millimeter and the auto river settings is in millimeter. Alright apart from the unit of the mass that is in kilogram so this setting is very very important so i'll have to close this so as to proceed i'll go to my home tab and then i click on line i want to be having a section of length 450 all right 450 just like that by 225 just like that then this way i'll go 450 all right i'll go up c on the keyboard to close that just like this so if i should dimension my column section I will be having something like this this is 450 by 225 just like this all right so after having done this if you notice you know that the lines are not fully lined they are not connected to each other so we need to connect the line to each other before we proceed with the auto bar so I will type J on the keyboard enter I pick the first line I pick the second one the third line and the fourth it enter on the keyboard to ensure the line joins together just like this all right so after which we proceed to auto riba all right or you can use the tool right away on this side click on the stirrup so the program will ask you for the diameter of the stirrup okay so for the diameter i will be using it all right and i'll enter it will ask me to specify the concrete cover for the concrete cover for columns is between 30 and 35 so I'll be using 30 in this case and I'll click enter right away so I said specify corner so I'll pick the corner of this uh, column section that point and come straight away to this point and pick so I will have something like this so this one now is my bar is my stirrup all right this is my stirrup so you can see the scale is big so I want to be reducing, reducing the scale so I will select the stirrup right away and come to uh, new this new scale click right away and then i'll change the scale to nine or i'll change your to one is to ten and then i'll hit on the enter button so you can see it has reduced drastically to a a very model scale right away so we we proceed to give a bar a mark okay but before then we will need to provide the the vertical bars okay the main vertical column bars for us to do that come to set bars this one click right away ask to specify the specify the diameter the system of go by system all right i'll enter and then specify the uh, spacing spacing is right away 175 i will have i'll go by 170 enter then i have to pick the insertion point so i'll zoom in and then i'll pick this point go straight away to these provisions and pick that point so I have this just like this so I can select it and as well adjust it a little bit just like this so after which I'll copy what I have there to this other side so all together I'll be having six numbers of reinforcements in this column all right so you can see the section so for this crossed here in the rebar you can also edit that if you come to this option provision you can come to rebar cross a right away you can select these provisions and said none click on okay so you will not see cross a inside the river okay so you can also come go back right there and check the cross a type and then you can use a uh, external right away click on okay and you'll be having something of this kind so any one of your choice you can use this effectively we proceed to give this uh, stir up a mark all right so you click on this mark one right away and then pick this and the instruction point just pick a point move your hand towards the right direction and click to place this instruction so you can see the scale is very big but we want to be editing this 
L means the total length of the stirrup. The photo river has automatically calculated the perimeter of the stirrup and then it has it to be 100 and 1266. Okay, but the number of bar is what we are going to be editing right away. So we select that and then come to edit. In this provision, the number of bar we are having right there is 6 and the spacing is 170. Okay, the spacing is 170. The notes we have there is going to be cx which is column schedule for the scale we are going to be considering it to be uh 20 instead of 50 so this can be reduced in size click on okay so you have this all right so after having this done the next thing is to create the bbx the bar bending schedule and for us to do that we just have to click on this bbs click right away and then click on the instruction point just like this to have the bbs of this uh column sections as you can see the bbs uh the length is this you can see the quantity is six and the max is three and then you can see the notes right away all right so but this is basically for the for the vertical uh, rebars of the column and not the stirrup that's why you're having six right away but you can still uh go straight away to delete this all right and then come to these provisions for instance we're having this uh, columns uh, you will have to consider this columns the height of the column, all right? If the height of the column is three meter, and then you are having a spacing of one seventy, okay? In terms of well, now we are now going to consider the stirrup, all right? We are having a spacing of one seventy for each stirrup, and then you will need to do a simple arithmetic right there, okay? The simple arithmetic you need to do is uh, the height of the column is three meter, so you type three meter. Or 3000 millimeter device 170 which is the specific of the stirrups and then click on the equals to have 17th number of stirrup approximately 18 okay so if you haven't approximately 18 numbers of stirrup click in these provisions and then go back to the auto rebar tab and click on the edit so in these provisions we are going to be having approximately 18 stirrups right away just like this and then click on okay so this has changed to the numbers of the stirrup where you have is 18 all right so once you have gotten this successfully uh you click on the bbs and then pick the instruction point to place that so if you come here now you can see 18 this still up along the length of the column at the spacing 170 you will have 18 number of this so this is the bar bending schedule for the still up and the bar bending schedule for the columns we will look at that in the subsequent lesson and so i will select this one to reduce this scale type fc on the keyboard and then pick the best part the best point of that and then i'll input 0 0.5 as my scale and i'll enter to become smaller so because i want it to actually uh be in line with what i have done so with the same scale the scale of this one is uh let me edit that and check is 20 all right so i can't reduce this to scale one is to 20 x on the keyboard i pick the best point and then i'll type 0 0.5 right and i'll enter all right so there is the scale this is scale 1 is to 20 all of this is in scale 1 is to 20 now you can see just like this so this brings us to the end of this lesson in the next lesson we will be looking at how we can't be able to uh give the bar bending schedule for the vertical reinforcement which is this reverse that we have the six reverse we have in this uh, stirrups so stay tuned like the lesson and we'll continue in the next lesson bye for now